Hey, how are you doing? Scotty from scottsbasslessons.com and in this lesson I'm going to give you a great exercise which will give you a, the ability to play arpeggios across the neck at speed, kind of like this. Okay, so before we go into this lesson, you can actually win this bass. We're doing a giveaway right now. If you're watching this before mid-April 2015, click the link below this video. If not, you've missed it, but never mind. We'll be doing more bass giveaways in the future, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, so in this lesson, I want to talk about um, speed bursts and using them with arpeggios. In the last lesson I released, I'll put a link somewhere on here on this. Screen. I'll put a link to the last lesson I released, which was essentially this concept, but for scales. But in this lesson, I want to talk about the same concept with arpeggios. Um, if you haven't do checked out the last lesson, go check it out because it kind of really explains the, uh, the, the process in detail. Uh, but I'm going to kind of go over it in this lesson as well anyway. So with arpeggios, the real problem especially playing it fast, is that your pluck, plucking hand has to travel a lot of distance, has to cover a lot of distance. Yeah? You're playing almost one note per string. Okay, so if you haven't got a nice muting technique or, you know, a nice shifting technique between over the strings, you're going to, you know, it's going to cause you uh, some serious problems and you're gonna have strings running out, ringing out, and you're not gonna be able to play it fast enough. So a great exercise to do this is the speed burst exercise. This is where you take just two notes to start with, and you play it you know, at tempo, quite fast, and then you just add one note, then add another note in, and then add another note in. So it's like this, okay? So this is the shape that we're gonna be using, okay? So it's a C major arpeggio, and we're playing C, E, that's both on the E string. Then a G with the second finger. A B with the first finger. With a little finger up to the ninth. And then, hey, for fun, let's go the sharp 11 and the 13th, okay? Okay. So that's the shape. Again, C, E, G, B, D, oops, F sharp, F sharp, and then A. Okay, now the exercise, you just take two notes, okay? So we're gonna play in, in groupings of two to start with, then we're gonna move on to groupings of three, four, five, and onwards. So you just play something like, pick a tempo, buddy, buddy. So we can play that two, tone, two note grouping, tongue twister, pretty simple because it's both on the same string. Both notes are on the same string. Now add in the next note. Now the next one. Now you'll notice this is where, you know, if you've got any issues with your technique that it'll start to unravel and cause you problems. But this is a great thing in a weird way, okay? So it's a great thing because it's revealing to you where your problem areas lie and what you need to work on. And you need to work on exercises like this, okay? So that's why it's a cool thing. So if you can't play this up to speed, if you can't play that up to speed, then go back to playing the three notes. Get used to that, get comfortable with it. Then the next one. Then, you know, look at your technique. Why are you not able to get to that, that B smoothly with speed? Is it your plucking hand? Is it your fretting hand? You know, get laser focus and try and figure out why you're not being able to play that phrase. Okay, because if you play, daddy, daddy, 
Da -da. If you can play that, that, those two notes that fast, there is no reason why you can't play the, the whole arpeggio at that speed. You know, it's not in your fingers. The fingers, you know, moving fast aren't the problem. It's your technique. That's the problem. Okay, so most people will be able to play da da, 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 da da. Da -de -da. If it's a little bit hard for you, slow it down. Body, 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 da, body, da, body, do da, body, do da, body, do da. Adding a note in each time. So that pattern that we worked on earlier, I'm just adding a note from that pattern in each time. So I start with two notes. Then three, then four, then five, then six. Okay. So my point is that pretty much everybody will be able to go but up, but up on that same note. Now do it on these two notes, two notes. And three. So it's not your fingers that haven't got the speed. You know, so many players that I talk to say, I can't play fast because it's something to do with my fingers. You know, they don't move fast enough. And that's, that's not true, you know. What it is, is it's your technique that's holding you back. It's your technique that's holding you back. So you need to get use exercises like this and the scales um, exercise that I just told you about at the beginning of the video. If you haven't checked it out, there'll be a link below this video to that lesson. Uh, use exercises like this to get laser focused on your technique and figure out why you can't play across the fingerboard like that because you can, you just, you know, everybody can. Everybody watching this video can do this. It's just working out the system of, you know, highlighting and figuring out exactly what's holding you back. Is it your thumb that's, you know, is your thumb? Um, for instance, this is a common problem, is people will put their thumb here and when they get down here onto G-string, their, their, their thumb's still in the same place and they're doing all this weird stuff, you know. If that's the case with you, just, Take it with you. Look at my thumb. It comes with me. Now, I've got to be completely honest. The reason why it comes with me is because I did this exact exercise years ago and I was one of those guys that left my thumb here all the time. And I can't even play. I find it so hard to play, I can't know. Um, I left it there. And I did this exercise and I was like, what is going on? What? I can't just, I just can't seem to play fast. But I knew I could play the two, the two notes fast. So in theory, if I can play two notes fast, there's no difference in playing, you know, 22 notes fast. It's just a technique thing. So I worked out that if I move my thumb with my fingers, it was a lot easier. And I used this exact exercise to figure that out. So over to you now. Take this exercise, figure out how you can use it to get these arpeggios up to speed and the scales. Remember, check out that other lesson as well. Now, before I go, remember you can win this bass if this is before mid-April. Um, check it out, the link's below the mid-April 2015. Um, the link is below the video. And also sign up to the toolkit for the toolkit as well. I've created this um, bass players toolkit. It's got like buyer's guide in there. Um, it's got a Discover the Modes mini course, it's got Tone Tools um, free ebook thing, it's got a ton of stuff, it's completely free. Hit the link below the video or if there's a, a little box up there somewhere on this video um, that says Toolkit, click that and it'll take you straight over to the page and just follow the instructions. Other than that, thank you for watching again. Click like, I'll send you all my base love, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.